heavy presence of security officers in every corner of the country's capital, Nairobi. An indication that the government is leaving nothing to chance ahead of President Barack Obama's expected arrival on Friday evening. Coupled with heightened surveillance, it may pass for an ordinary citizen, but the number of plainclothes security officers within the streets of Nairobi is equally high. The officers being part of the total 10,000 security officers that Nairobi police boss Benson Kibue says have been deployed to keep vigil in the capital during President Obama's visit. What we have done is that we have called for reinforcement from the neighboring counties. So we have our counterparts who have joined us. We have also uh, incorporated other security agents in Nairobi, for example, prison. We have prison officers, we we'll have, or have NYS. And motorists expect tough times ahead. Their concerns stem from the announcement that several roads will be closed during the visit. They include Mombasa Road from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Uhuru Highway and Waiyaki Way to be closed from 2 p.m. this Friday. And come Saturday, Fika Super Highway, Limuru Road and other feeder roads will also be closed to pave way for President Obama's public address to be delivered at Moi Sports Center, Kasarani. Uh, Mombasa Road down to Uhuru Highway all the way to parts of Waiyaki Way will be affected. Uh, the roads that leads into certain sections of the CBD, uh, you may say of uh, Haile Selassie, as you head to Haile Selassie, Moi Avenue, roundabout, uh, down to parts of uh, uh, Haile Selassie, Landis uh, road areas. A visit by Channel One's team in the streets of Nairobi revealed intensive patrols within the city and its environs, with several international journalists already in the country ahead of President Obama's grand arrival. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, Audit.